Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Another car video today, but this one is actually really sick because the car is pretty much finished, exactly how I want. I've made the changes that alloy wheels from LK Performance, I've had bits wrapped, I've got new tires, it looks insane, it sounds insane. But today I'm integrating the C63 with my mountain bike career. So a company called Sea Sucker have sent me suction cup roof racks because I've got a whole glass panoramic roof. I can put a roof rack on the top, stick my bike on, like you have to take your front wheel out, put the axle through, and it's gonna just look like, I can't actually wait to see how insane it looks with a bike on top of my C63. And then we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna fit the bike rack. We're gonna put the bike on. And then I think probably the best way just to check how sturdy it is, how solid the bike's gonna be, how I can drive is just to use the launch control feature, blast off full speed, full to 60, and see if the bike stays on. If it doesn't, back to the van. If it does, I might be able to use this in the summer for mountain bike trips. So, I'll have a... Ugh. I had it clean this morning, that's great, isn't it? Nice bit of bird shit. Look, probably an albatross as well, that's quite a big one. <laughs> an <laughs> albatross. But the wingspan on those things right. are huge. So, the struggle has been real. The mountain bike's in the back of the car. I have to take off the front wheel, which is normal, but I have to take off the pedals as well to get it to fit through the gap which sucks. So, we're gonna whip the bike out. We're gonna, I'll show you the roof rack, how simple it is, and hopefully how easy it's gonna be to fit. And then we're just gonna put it on and do a launch. Front wheel, that's gonna have to stay in the boot because the roof rack doesn't take front wheels. But, at least I can keep the seats up, keep things looking good. And now I've gotta be really careful. So, we're doing it with my dirt jump bike today. But, the cool thing is I can put any bike in this it doesn't matter on wheel size or anything like that because this is how it comes. That's the front section with a 15 mil axle kind of adapter there. So you slide your axle through there, take your front wheel off and the back wheel just sits in a Velcro loop like that. So all of my bikes, because they've all got 15 mil fork axles are gonna fit this roof rack, which is quite sick. So it literally came like this. All I had to do is put two bolts in there to attach this because obviously people have different style bikes, road bikes, all that. It works for everything. Um, this is called the Sea Sucker Talon Rack. They make another one for like more bikes, but this is more simple because I can put it dead center on the car. So I haven't actually done this yet, but you take off these covers. I hope this is going to be as easy as it seems. I was expecting a massive instruction book, but it didn't come. Right, so there we go. It is as simple as it looks, isn't it? Do you reckon if you had two of those, you could climb up a glass skyscraper? <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't know, I need to figure out where it's going to go. So I'm, I'd like it to be dead centre, it's going to look better on the car. It, that's the only bit of positive, it's just going to look better. To one side it's going to be easier to put on and off. So we need to figure out how long it is. So if we rest... I'm not kind of there. One thing I'm going to have to be so careful of, if I fully open the sunroof, it's going to be a disaster. I'm going to smash the sunroof, bike's probably going to peel off. Sunroof's probably more expensive than bike, but that's going to be such an insane mistake. So I might have to put a bit of duct tape over the trigger or something because that could suck. <laughs> yeah. Like try and line the bike up, see where it's all going to live. So if a back wheel, I couldn't have got it any better. That's pretty spot on. Pretty spot on. Scott, can you see if the boot opens? No. No. So we're gonna, what are we doing? Will I need to get in the boot? Right, I'll slide it forward a bit, but we're almost ready to go. So if we get that back there, pretty far forward, then how far does that have to come forward? Back to there. Right. This is so easy, I think. <laughs> I got sent this, it came, comes with a little lube tube. So you need to wet these pads, these suction cups before putting it on. Just line that. So let's. Assume it's living there. What do you reckon? Just literally. You can massage it in with your hand, give it a little. I think you should probably just massage it in, yeah. Right, wipe that on the jeans. So, we're about there. Dead centre. And then I believe all you do is pump this. Oh, it goes completely flat. Everyone watching who works with glass and does any normal stuff is like, yes, Matt, of course it works like that. But look, now it goes solid. 
and if the orange shows it means you have to pump it more i did read that in the on the website so the orange acts as a little marker to say it's not actually attached but that's insane really yeah, i'd happily hang off that <laughs> Get pulled along at 100. That is so solid. Right, let's do the front one. Bit more lube. Got three to worry about this time. The Sea Sucker Talon. Making sports cars and mountain bikes unite. Do you know what? I used to have a roof rack on my BMW 335D. Like one of the classic normal big ass roof racks. I really enjoyed using it. And then one day I went to a skate park that had one of those two meter barriers. Came steaming in because I was running late bike on the roof ready to go ready to whip it down it had been cleaned it had been oiled bang not only did it bend the whole top tube of the frame it peeled the roof rack off the car it was a massive mess so oh my note to self don't do that again in the c63 i feel like this would pull the glass out of your car quicker than this would come off yeah they're strong aren't they? <laughs> now we've got triple power up front as well right lube goes there would you say scott that that's lined up with the back one should we give the viewers no. The axle. I think you need to come this way a bit. Twist or pull the whole thing? Just come, just pull it straight towards you. There. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. Alright, I'm going to start pumping. Pump, pump, pump it up. Let's get pumping. Never have my fingers had such a thorough workout. <laughs> right, I didn't measure again, but let's try it. So axle out, 15 mil axle on the bike. So that comes out. This has been so easy. Compared to the roof racks, like not to name any brands, but the ones that are a lot of faff. Please fit. Yes. Scott, I've done it from the wrong side. What do you mean? Yeah, oh, I see. Do you want me to push through? Nah, no, you're good. Right, Alan, get this up. Oh! Alan Keys, <laughs> can't the front axle because I'm not quick release. The sea sucker lives. It looks pretty insane from back here. Is that not what dreams are made of? Mate, it looks insane. <laughs> yeah. That was so easy. And I've got two. They actually sent me two, which is the dream. So when I'm running two, it's going to be even easier to get them on because you don't have to reach as far. It looks good in the middle, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, boy. Cars are cars. I love cars. But then you put a bike on it, which is my absolute passion. It's like the best thing ever. In. Lube in. If that, is that all the way out? That, no, that comes up and goes all the way back to there. Yeah, yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> Should we do a launch? I think. And then we're going to end the video there. Yeah. Because one bike's on. I'm going to have two bikes on soon. I can now take a mate with their mountain bike, mountain biking. For what reason, there is no answer. I have a van, I can continue using the van, but it just seems too good to be true to tick every box with the drive and the ride. I'm pretty pumped. So, shout out Sea Sucker for sending me the Talon racks. I'm ready for the test. Yeah, it's there. Do not touch that sunroof button. Okay. <laughs> Yep. My God. You really do not get a sense of how loud and how evil that car is on a computer screen. It is so, so sick in person. Unreal. We still have a bike. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Can you feel it like wobbling around on the top nothing. of nothing? Can't hear anything. I bet when you go really fast, it starts whistling. Yeah. But that is like the final piece of the puzzle. Bosh. Such a good angle of it as well. Yeah. All right, sick. Okay. So you're going to see a lot of this car, especially with the bike on top in future videos, Instagram posts, all of the above. But most of all, I hope you enjoyed today's video. You're all absolute legends. If you want to subscribe, click right here. Here's a few other videos for you to watch and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Legends guys, take it easy.